In this video, I'll show you how to set up a ragdoll in Godot. Before rigging your ragdoll, apply all your modifiers. Select your mesh and then your bones uh, with automatic weights. Now you want to export your ragdoll as GLTF. And I like to do it's embedded. Once you're in Godot, open up your exported ragdoll. You want to click on your skeleton, and up here, you want to click Create Physical Skeleton. Now you'll have to edit every bone for your ragdoll. I'll now reset the offset of every bone. Small bones, like your fingers, don't need collisions, so you can just delete them all and use the palm bone for the entire hand. And I'm going to get rid of my the right hand, I'm just going to delete those finger bones. For the left hand, I'll delete those. For my root bone, the collision shape here is probably going to be bigger because it's the body. So we can make it a bit bigger. And if you're having trouble seeing, you can try overview mode. It's kind of like an x ray. Um, and then here, you can, this uh, bottom area for your offset. You can adjust this to move it, move your collision to where it's supposed to be, or like in a better suited spot. And you'll want to do this for all your bones, all your physical bones. Now you want to adjust the collision shape size to fit your ragdoll mesh. Also adjust the physical bone offset to move the collision shape in the correct position. Do it for all your physical bones. Alright now once you've adjusted all your collisions to fit your mesh, you can make a script for your for your ragdoll. To start your ragdoll simulation, you will need a reference to your skeleton and type in this method here physical bone start simulation. And we save that. Save our scene. And make sure we can see him. And then in your scene, whatever. You can instance your ragdoll and I want to raise him up a bit, make sure we can see him. And <laughs> so that's what a ragdoll looks like now, but as you can see, uh, limbs are like rotating everywhere. And that might not be what you want, or it might be. So, what you can do is in your, in your physical bones, under joint, you can change the type uh, for the root. Usually you just have it none, but then because that's the the base bone, then everything else will be joint. So they're all all of them right now are already on pin joint, and that's where they can move any direction they want, like a pin. But one that looks the best is the hinge joint, 
and it will look like this circle and you'll want to add angular limits so then you can make sure they can't rotate every where and then you might want to just make it limit their rotation so you want to do that for all your bones all right now once you've gone and added your added your type of joints that you want your your armature to have and you've added your joint constraints you can edit the um, rotation of it to make sure it's in the right direction so for example in the bottom here the calf they can only they'll be rotating like this way what you can do is you can turn on local space and so like they'll they'll only be rotating like that whereas you might want it um if you rotate it like this now that's like more like proper so once you've gone and adjusted everything you can then save and load up load it up and see what it looks like now it looks much nicer that's how you make a ragdoll in Godot thank you for watching